Hey, <clears throat> hey, Jared. Good to see you. All right, so let's get this started then. Just a minute. Oops, <laughs> just a minute. Good news, we're in prison again. I just love this place. All right, we just gotta show off some dialogue we missed in the past few chapters. So we see this chapter. Skip through all of this. Yeah, yeah, that's great, dry ass. But can you, we go on the next scene? Prince Leaf! Yeah, uh, so, um, you maybe, may or may not have noticed, but Olwyn is flipping dead. <laughs> so we get this scene right here. Prince Leaf! Sir Fred, I'm seeing you again sooner than I expected. I apologize, sire. I did not mean to catch you off guard. It's no trouble, but still, why are you here? Did something happen? What of your other business? This is Sir Fred. There's nothing left that needs doing for me. I'll put it that way. That sounds... Forgive me. I shouldn't meddle. Prince Leaf. What is, what is it? I'd like to request to fight at your side. Alongside the Liberation Army. I beg your pardon? In this past day, I have turned my sword against my homeland. As such, Frege will no longer have me. For all intents and purposes, I am now a wandering knight, one in need of a sworn lord. Your Highness, if you could find it in yourself to accept me, I would... Yes, I accept. You... huh? I believe we're already on good terms with one another, Sir Fred. I owe you for aiding us in our initial breach of this fort. If I can repay this debt and grant you a place to belong, it would be my great honor. Exactly as you put it, sire. As of this moment, I am your stalwart knight, ever ready to combat all who dare oppose you and to shield you with my very life. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. Yeah, all win, more like all lose. Got him. Yeah, okay. So that's that's a nice scene, nice and everything. But well, another thing you need to see is. In chapter 12X, instead of just warping all the way to Pern like a smart person, me, who gets Safi killed so I can have Daisy on the squad, has to do things this way. If we talk to Trude with Salem... Trude, lower your sword! It's me, Salem! Huh? Am I seeing ghosts already? Or is that really you, Salem? There's very little time to explain. These aren't Imperial soldiers. They're the Liberation Army. They mean us no harm, so long as Pern is willing to talk things out. Nah, I get you. You're a good judge of character, I'd say. If you of all people are convinced of their motives, then fine, I'll get out of the way. You won't come with us? Maybe, maybe not. I only listen to Pern for stuff like that. If he agrees, then I'll join up. Ah, right. I should have expected that. I'll make my way to Pern's chambers then. Sounds good. I'll be here. So instead of becoming a blue unit, he's just a green unit now. Yeah, but it'll still turn into a... Uh, we'll probably still turn into a blue unit the moment we talk to Pern. But I believe in the vanilla game, you could not recruit Shrewd with Salem. You couldn't even bring him over to a green unit. So that's a nice change. That makes playing this chapter less awful. You really have to wonder how the developers intended for you to play this chapter normally, because, like, what the heck, man? Alright, next up. We have P Salem talk to Pern. Let's do that. See what they have to talk to about. 
That's enough, Pern. No more violence. Salem? The hell are you doing fighting with the enemy? What, have you sold us, out, sold us out already? How much is the Empire paying you for this? You've got it all wrong, you idiot. <laughs> These people aren't with the Empire. This is Prince Leaf's Liberation Army, and there's no en and they're no enemy of ours. Liberation Army? Never heard of them. Who are they? They're people who share our value of independence, and that should be all you need to know. I can explain the rest later, but for now, you have to lower your sword. Uh, clearly there's a bigger picture here I'm not seeing. You just want us to stop fighting and hash this thing out all pe peaceful like, right? Well, if this is coming from you, I expect you you've thought through all the angles already. Oh, Salem, that's not no fair. You know I got a soft spot for you. All right, all right, we'll do things your way. And that causes Pern to join up. And should to join up. I'll just... No, she's around. You see her right there. You see her in like... She's like right underneath the text box. Alright, but let's reset now so I can actually go back to the main playthrough. Chapter 14, The Onslaught. Having scraped by the window of opportunity, Lee found himself secure within Tara's walls. Though the true struggle was yet to commence. Thracia's finest, including King Trevant himself, were acting on an imperial edict demanding that the kingdom assist in Tara's destabil destabilization. Destabilization. The odds were stacked against Tara's deliverer. Yeah, that's probably why they made her recruitable with Salem, because you can only get Daisy if you kill off Safi and Lephis. So it'd be kind of an. It'd be kind of. So it'd be really strict if you had to kill off Tina, too, just for one unit, you know? As walls crumble, soldiers war, and bolts rain, the city plays witness to a mon monumentous battle that stands to forever alter history of the Thracian Peninsula. Oh boy. Infamous map right here. How many people can we deploy? Fourteen! Second. All right, so we're gonna want to deploy. Worst Kane. Uh, Tina. Oh my God, we're gonna have to deploy all of our healers. Nana. Oh boy, Karen. Let's go, Fergus. Olwen. Finn, maybe. Callian. Uh, maybe Laura. Yeah, sure, Laura. Go Asbel. Maybe Pern. Who else? Let's go Dashin. Seems like a seems pretty good. Oh, it was Marita too. I think I should bring Marita actually. Instead of Yeah, Dasher could sit this one out. Then again. 
Is Karen really gonna do anything <laughs> in this map? If only I could bring one more person. Uh, Callion for dashing. You can take an armor slayer. You can take killer lance. Tina can take like anything that increases her growth. Jeez. Probably gonna bring a warp too. Man, I have a lot of master seals. I should start using these. Here, Fen, it's your lucky day. Where's the steady scroll? Sad scroll. See, it's funny because in the other playthrough, I stole Dire Thunder, so I have two Dire Thunders, but Olwen's dead, so I can't even make use of those. I could have three Dire Thunders if I wanted to steal from Reinhardt, too, but, you know. So, yeah, this is good. Give Slim Sword. Oh, right, this one. I forgot we had this one. Oh, that one sucks. <laughs> Strength plus 30, though. That's nice. Honestly, let's give this to Karen. No magic, no skill, no... I mean, 60 luck and speed is still a really good growth, honestly. I mean, I saw- oh, you know, I did notice that Blade had a scroll before, but like... I thought he came with that scroll in the base game. I swear I like noticed the scroll, but like I didn't realize that like... Didn't he have that in the base game? I could have sworn... You know... Oh, he only had a silver lance? Oh, what the heck- <laughs> What the heck was that scroll originally though, then? Oh well. Okay. Well. Oh, hello there, Mario. Um, I just gave the Paragon Skull to Tina. Just uh, level level her up faster. Anyway, let's take a look at the map. Uh, this... Oh, it was on Dean before? That would make sense. I knew it was on someone. 
So this one is like, we gotta visit a bunch of houses, if I remember correctly. This looks like a door, but you can't actually open it. Um, yeah, this seems good. Chapter 14, The Onslaught. Hey, Dean. Or Edda, or whatever. That day changed that dude's portrait. <laughs> he looks a little different. He did not... Where's Liz... Where's Liz... Whatever. Well, I don't see him anywhere. I'll bring... I bring word of his fate. He charged the battle early and was defeated by the rebels. Right now, he's either dead or in chains. The poor sod, I almost pity him. If I may speak freely, sir, Liz brought it upon himself when he disobeyed your orders. I'm not so sure of that. I was opposed to this whole plan, and now my hesitation has cost a great many soldiers their lives. The blame is mine alone. I must make quite a sight. The great General Paulus, reduced to an old man whose glory days are long past him. Go ahead and laugh, pal, Doc. Good. But I cannot allow myself to hesitate for one moment longer. I am a knight of House Frege, and I have a duty to uphold. Will you lend me your strength, Baldash? Of course, Count Colonel Paulus. I await your orders. What's more, the main body of the 8th Division has arrived. With your permission, we'll begin our assault at once. Permission granted. I'll have my own troops move to reinforce your position just as soon as my men have finished their preparations. See that you don't get sloppy, General. I imagine that this goes without saying, but still, keep your guard up. I'll remain vigilant, Colonel. On my honor, Tar will fall this day. And here we have the very first defense map in Fire Emblem history. And it sure is something. <laughs> it started, Lady Linoan. And so the Empire brings the full weight of their army to bear against us. What is Lord Leaf doing now? Meeting with the other commanding officers and military officials. Is Dean with them? Brother said he wasn't the type to sit around in some war council. He left to go defend the Southern Gate. He's always been headstrong like that. <laughs> Not much I already know. When I was a small child, I was often told the story of Dane, the legendary Draco Knight. Dean always reminded me of him, flying freely through the skies, untroubled by the world's petty squabbles. He's a towering man, true, but he's still gentle in his own way. And above all, he's a master of the skies, undefeatable in battle, just like Dane. I mean, Dane, Dean is pretty good, yes. I think you've been misled, Lady Lenoan. My brother is not the exemplar among men you believe him to be. Idea, you should not be saying that. <laughs> I've seen your stats. I beg to differ. He's not perfect, granted, but had he not come to my aid, my spirit would have been broken long ago. I would be useless to this city now. After my father was killed, Duke Hal mission was seized, and I was forbidden to even set foot out doors on my own. New portrait for Dia. It does seem pretty striking, so it might might, might be different. Yes. Maybe the armor? For two years, I was kept prisoner in my own home. And for all that time, the wretched governor sent by the Empire interrogated me about Prince Leaf's location. To this day, just the thought of that disgusting man is enough to keep, make my heart stop. Dean, he saved me from that. After the deed was done, he protected me from the Empire's assassins. And when my grief felt too heavy to bear, he always ready to bring a smile to my face. It was strange. I always thought he must have been a renowned sellsword, but he always laughed it off. Never would I have suspected that he answered to Lord Arian himself. There's more to it than that. His Highness Prince Arian was worried sick about the sit crisis unfolding in Tara and secretly arranged for Dean to rescue you. I remember Brother being so honored by the trust His Highness had placed in him. I never seen him happier. But it wasn't without a c its cost. To preserve the secrecy of the mission, Brother had to make it look like he'd simply deserted from the army. Lord Arian really went to such lengths? His Highness was caught between a rock and a hard place. He couldn't leave Thracia, but he couldn't sit back and let his own fiancé die. His Highness seemed deeply tormented, openly so, during the whole ordeal. If you're not living alone, Dane and Najorn have bore witness to your compassion and grace, and they, they will not forsake you. It's time. I need to set off the front lines. Please, my lady, wait here and stay safe. Have faith that we will be victorious today. Oh, here's another new guy! <laughs> Thank you again for welcoming us into the city, Bishop Gunnar. 
The pleasure was all mine, Pencilief, knowing you remain safe and sound. All this time is his own reward. And I must thank you for bringing Asbel back as well. I was worried sick, to put it lightly. Grandfather, I'm sorry for what I did, but I, I had to do it. I made a vow to Lord Leaf. He's in need of my strength. I'm not picking apart your actions, Asbel. Your perfect opportunity has arisen for you to embark on your own path. Who was I to stop you? And now because of this, I believe your father can rest in peace. Father. Asbel, how could you keep that from me? I never knew. I'm sorry, Lord Leaf. It, it was never my intention, I promise. Just, there was never a proper time to mourn. I thought that maybe once I'd done right by you, the people of Tara, then I could take a moment to process everything. Give it all the time it deserves. Don't you see the problem? We're getting into this... All this right as our walls are being broken down. Right now I'm rushing out to push back these invaders. I guess you'll join in whenever your grieving time is over. Wonder. It's nothing to worry about. Alzabelle's just very persistent about his way at times. Yes, I'm definitely realizing that. Come to think of it, he acted in a similar manner back when we crossed paths in Munster. But enough of this talk. Let's concern ourselves with Tara's defense. Very good. I trust my magic and staff will prove a most worthwhile asset. Oh, I have no doubt about that. Furthermore, I have word with Duchess Lenoran, and she has requested that I join your ranks. You will do such? By all means! Of course, you may have grown, up, may have grown on since the last we met, but I'm sure that my magic can still assist you. Yeah, from what I understand, this guy is like... was an unused character in the original Thracer, so they decided to add him in. He comes with his own rescue staff! And Fortify! And Tornado. Tornado only has 13 uses. Comes with C rank and both lightning and fire and B rank and wind and B rank and staff. Stats pretty decent for early pre promote. Okay, now we gotta check out Adin and Adia. Adia, yep, she definitely got buffed. I can already tell. Yep, she's level 5 now. She was level 3 before I put- I'm like, pretty sure. She has Miracle now. I, she might have had that before, I don't know. I've never used a Dia. <laughs> Here's Dean! Oh, he still has Dane Scroll. Which has the 5% movement buff. Nice. Er, uh, buff to growth, anyway. Oh, interesting. She's unpromoted, but she still has nine movements, same as her promoted. Yeah, okay, she's unpromoted, but she has one extra movement. That's a really significant buff, actually. Yeah, it, it, it kind of got... I mean, Adia's a flyer, so she's always going to be useful, but she really got overshadowed by coming in literally the exact same uh, chapter as Dean. Higher five FCM? Oh yeah, four. That's pretty good. All right. Master Lance Caleb of Riders Bane. Ooh, okay, this guy's got 20 cons, so we're not capturing him. You, on the other hand, have 18. Master Axe and Tornado. Yeah, this is where they're gonna start throwing out master weapons for us. Start visiting these houses, I guess. It seems Tara's fate is already sealed. I wish we could go back and do it all over again, someplace different. Visited three houses. Defend the gate for t oh, it's only ten turns here. Interesting. All right, which one of you has Homer in it? Is it this one? I can't take his name. I just want to go somewhere far, far away from here. Alright, let's promote Finn. Check the ballista ranges? Sure. That's a nice palette. Is that new? 
That's a really nice palette. He's got really nice sprite. Duke Knight. Now he's got eight lances. Very nice. Three to ten. Seems about the same. Oh, is the oh is either this one right here that fins on? I see. Hmm. This whole mess is, has most of the city confused, panicking, or both. If you've got anyone you want to say goodbye to, best do it quickly. Check the range. Okay. You can send Tina over here. Oh, they moved the ballista? That's nice. You have more room to maneuver in the actual town, it seems. Alright. Um, let's save that for later. It says send the old one over here. First time doesn't really matter, so. Oh, right, Leaf can talk to these people. I came to see you escape the rule of Thracy and the Empire. Tower falls to either of them, there's not much point in the city still existing. Ah, I see. This is a interesting conversation. Kane and Tina, what on earth could these two have to talk about? Hello, Miss Tina, yes? I'm Tina, who are you? My name is Kane. I am the acting quartermaster of this army. I ask only for a moment of your time. Um, okay, what's this all about? It's become common knowledge that you carry a special trinket with you. What, this? It's just some old staff. I know a few other folks that here use them too. That act will do nothing for you, my lady. I'm aware of your precious thief staff. What are you talking about? You don't know anything, you... Now please hear me out. It's not as though I'm looking to take it from you. I just wish you know what it's been used for. Uh, grinding staff experience? Yeah, I'm sure you do. So you can find an excuse to punish me and put me through some boring lecture. I understand your qualms, but I emphasize that no such fate awaits you. I swear it. Fine. Now I've noticed some discrepancies regarding our army's reserves. I would like to straighten these out. All you need to do is notify me when your thief staff comes into play. Ugh, why? Can I just use it and that's it? Well, there's more to it than that. It's about communication, Miss Tina. As you're surely aware, thieving skills are essential for us. We're fighting a war against an enemy much larger and more coordinated than us, where any potential advantage must be taken. It is easier for us to discover these advantages when we maintain proper records. You can't just take this and the other thing, throw them or whatever, and call it a day. You have to tell someone, preferably August or myself. We don't just automatically know everything. We're not going to know to use this powerful weapon you got for us when we're not actually aware that it's in our barracks. It will lead to many missed opportunities. So now, what do you say? Can I count on your help, Miss Tina? How is this not over yet? I, I mean, okay, sure, I'll help, or whatever I gotta do to make this stop. My thoughts exactly. This has to stop, or it could cost us something dear. Uh, you're telling me. You have my gratitude. Now that we're both on the same page, might you be able to attend our war council as well? The ability of yours keep has quite unique potential. If we could pass, hard pass, just, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that to myself. There's a reason the thief staff belongs to me. It's because I know how to use it the best. I know what I'm doing. Just trust me, won't you? A fair compromise, I suppose. Very well, we'll defer to your judgment. That's right, you defer. Now I'm going to defer myself out of here. Uh, right, we look forward to your cooperation. Yeah, yeah, some other time. Oh boy, <laughs> she's a handful, that one. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, 
like a stand. Send Gunner over here and do this talk. Let's just get all the talks out of the way. To what do we owe the pleasure, Sister Safi? Bishop Gunner, you come to Tara as well? Uh, of course I did. Your father was a dear friend of mine. His was a tragic loss for us all. How has your sister fared in all this? <sighs> well, you know how Tina is. It seems that zappy little s spirit of hers isn't here to say. <sniffs> Guys, she said the thing. Zappy! I've always tried my utmost to set an example. But truly, no matter what I do, she'll never listen unless... Well, she feels like it. I'll pay it no mind. That's just how all children should be. She's shown no interest in joining the clergy, clergy, and yet she pushes herself to her limits to practice staff just like her big sister. It's an indi indicator, you should know. She may struggle in expressing things to you, but that's not to say she doesn't look up to you. I suggest making a larger effort to recognize these signs. You're all she has, after all. Of course, Duchess Lenoan would never let anything happen to her, but I believe you take my meaning. I do. I've... I've... never even considered that. Thank you for your wisdom, Bishop. It is my honor. Remain strong, Sister Safi. I know you can put things right. Yes, I will. The fact that he has a return staff is really nice because we can just warp someone, get a house, and then rescue them. If we wanted to. Something to consider. This talk doesn't have a... Um... Exclamation point. Uh, it might be something to report, I guess. Nothing too serious, but you know. Are you ready, Dean? Of course I'm ready. That goes without saying. But Ida, I would like to ask something of you. But should something happen to me today, I want you to look after Duchess Lenoan. You just said you were ready, and now you jump to contemplating defeat? Please be mindful of your words. I'm merely stating things as they are. Indeed you are, but still, these thoughts of yours would be enough to tear at, at her heart. You're more than just a bodyguard, Dean. You're practically everywhere you go, we all see how clo close she puts herself next to you. That goes beyond duty if you ask me. Therein lies the problem. You saw it for yourself. What causes you to celebrate such a breach of conduct? It means I violated Lord Arian's trust. There's no pride to be held in that. After all, not after all he's done for us. Very well, I just wanted to help you find happiness. Forgive my impudence. You're not at fault, dear. I've been on the mission a while. All these various loopholes have already been explored. This is simply a very delicate matter, but I know how to handle it properly. Are we in agreement? Yes, agreed. And there you go. Alright, enough talking for now. Let's, uh... Try to withstand this onslaught. There's our choke points. How I missed them. Oh, here comes the boss. Oh boy. Oh, what now? Oh, I these guys. <laughs> hey, what's with the getup? You planning to skip town? Hmm, there's no point in sticking around here. Oh, come on, the folks around here only put up with you because they wanted your help so badly. Everybody's gonna have it out for you if you run out of them now, especially that woman. Hell hath no fury and all that. No, it's not like that. I'm a prince of a whole different country, and I can't just leave my people without their beloved leader. Uh-huh. Yeah, if you're the Prince of Isaac, I'm St. Heim. I can see right through you. How did you know? I'm a bard, remember? I know what Prince Shannon looks like, and you ain't him. Still, it's all I can blame you. I mean, who wouldn't want to save their own skin? No sense getting dragged down at the rest of the city if you can avoid it. So you're making it one foot two? That's the plan. I'm hightailing it out of here first thing in the morning. Gives me plenty of time to have my fun tonight. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Me, I'm getting out while I still can. If you make it through this alive, maybe we'll cross paths again someday. One last thing, now that we're acquainted, you at least gotta give me a real name. It's Shanam. That's close to the real thing than I was expecting. Have a safe 
Well, safe travels, Prince Shemam. Uh, he was a sham, get it? Okay. Well, um... Yeah, we we'll said Fergus here. The Master Lance is pretty scary. These guys got killer axes. Sheesh. That's a whole list of right there. Hmm. <laughs> Pern will be fine here. Let's do this. Pern will be fine, I'm sure, maybe, possibly. It's okay if a few knights get into the city, wait! Yeah, killer weapons. Scary. Finn will come up to help out over here, and then I can get home where they get out of here. Oh, I like what I see. I'll clear my whole schedule to make time for you, darling. I beg your pardon? What's the meaning of this? Also, I'm like 15. What the hell? You see, hon, this is the last ta night in town. Would, I would that I could make love to all my admirers, but alas, I'm only one man. Youch! Hey, 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 what'd you hit me for? What are you thinking? All the people of this city, young and old, are fighting tooth and nail for Tara. But... Here you are, already halfway through a bottle of wine before noon. Have you no shame? Well, first, it is past noon. Second, uh, hey, sweetheart, don't get that pretty face all wet with tears. <sighs> all right, all right, I get it. I suppose I can lend you a hand. Just remember that I'm a lover, not a fighter. This body of mine, enchanting as it may look, isn't built for heavy labor. I'm sure. Here he is. Here's Homer. He comes with a stamina drink, so that's nice. He has... Comes with Paragon, I'm pretty sure he had that already. Okay, he has E-Rank Wind, but it's not completely useless now because they made the Wind Tome actually E-Rank. Yeah, so like, fun fact, the Wind Tome in uh, the original Thracia is D-Rank. So like, Homer can't use any we Wind Magic until he promotes. It's kind of funny. Yep, yeah, that's a that's a magic growth, all right. <laughs> Three strength. All right. See what Graf Caliber will do to this guy, huh? Funny, you little rats think you can actually beat me? Uh, yes. What tomfoolery? How could this? Can damage dashing, but not by much. Okay. We could just send Dean right through the middle. Actually, there's a ballista there. Hmm. 
to send Dean here. Send Dean to get this house, I guess. Oh, wait, I should have talked to him with Leaf. Whatever. We'll get to that later. Uh, can go over here. <laughs> like we can steal the ballistas. It's probably not worth it, but it's funny. We just send Odia to that house, actually, and just send Dean somewhere else. Nah, that's not a good sign. Yeah, just keep missing so they can't... Okay. You got this, girl. You got this. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, that guy just had a sword. Stop quadrupling everything. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, right? At this point, because everyone else just has... Why are you... Nana. That won't kill, right? Yeah. This'll hurt, but unless him dodges. Oof. Why are they going that way? Come on, you just need to dodge one thing. But probably not going to, right? Okay, you're just gonna go for Pern. Oh, that hurt. Well, <laughs> yeah, all right. So... How do we deal with this, is the question. Dean... wouldn't die... Yeah, 17, 17. Dean would barely live. Funny, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, Dean. Thank you. Might as well have this conversation. <laughs> yes, sir, Dean. Yes, I'm simple merc. Just Dean is fine. But still, for the Prince of Leinster to call me by my name, what's the deal here? Hmm? There's no deal. Is my conduct so outlandish? I, for one, would certainly say so. The majority of Northerners I've known would never consider themselves on equal terms with a Southerner. Hyenas, dogs, vultures, we're all despised as such. Just bear in mind my allegiance is with Duchess Lenoa, and not you, Prince. You can put your fears to rest. I... there must be some misunderstanding. Accept my apologies, Dean, for there... It was not my intention to create such an impression. Rather, my intention is to treat you with the same as Lenoan does. Is that so? Yes, your trusted bodyguard in our fight against the Empire. Thereby, the irreplaceable friend. 
I was confronted with our history in ancient times, so there's been significant thought put into what I say to you now. We love Thracia 776 Chapter 14. Yes, we do. <laughs> Whether you speak truly or not, I have little means of doing anything about it as of now. The Duchess appears to place her faith in you, and with that, I suppose you've earned mine. As for outside of that, well, let's just say I'd love to have a reason to take back what I said before. Indeed, I can't guarantee anything, but I hope I will do my best. I hope you can accept that, Dean. Sounds fair to me. You are this Prince Leaf? Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, though. Just repeat that. Ah, you see, I meant to do that because he got a hit in and Leaf can move again. Very much. I'm so smart. Alright. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Alright, get him as well. That Leaf's... Are you kidding me? Okay, well... Since apparently we need to worry about can uh, about, uh... <laughs> Fergus getting doubled, I guess. Let's give him this. I mean, not doubled, crit. Oh yeah, these guys have nothing on Karen, huh? Let's keep Leaf around here, so... The nice double physic healing. Speed and luck. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, Tina. It's way too dangerous to send her anywhere near the front lines because the ballistas. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that figures, huh? Maybe we could get defense or something. Yeah, it goes for Nana. Takes the hit. Goes for Leaf, it doesn't matter. Goes for Kane. Kane can live this. Nice dodge. Now I'm gonna go for Pern. Pern can dodge. This one's got the killer axe, but it's fine. The boss is scary, though. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, Dashin's got defense, but I just hope that holds out against all the armors. Especially the boss. Okay, I'm pretty sure Pern's fine now. Strength, skill, speed, defense. Not bad. Okay, he's going for Dashin. Dashin, can you activate? Okay, okay. <sighs> all right, all right. We're living. Okay. We're alive. These two have their work cut out for them, don't they? Alright, I swear, if this guy great shields past everything again... Are you... Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Tom Foolery is right. How did you great shield three times? <sighs> oh, this ballista's in the range of that ballista. This is a long range. He's got the long. Oh, he's got the iron ballista, that's why. Super long range. 3 to 15. Ah, oh, you see, you can't go to this one. Nice to target this one. I see. You know what? Let's just do this. This is the house that gives Dean the, uh... The Dragon Pike, I believe. Let's just get this real quick. Sir, so, Sir Dean, Lady Altena was here waiting for you. It's been too long, Dean. I'm glad to see you're doing well. Lady Altena? What in Dane's name are you doing here? Dane's name? Hey, you haven't changed a bit, Dean. I've come all this way to give you a gift. A spear worthy of your service to Thracia. This is no mere spear. This is His Highness's Prince Aryan's personal weapon, the Dragon Pike. Why would he give me such a prized possession? He considered the token of his apology for having brand you a deserter as part of your cover. Go on, take it. He said he wanted you to put it to good use. I was the one who chose to desert the army. Sure, it was to carry out his highness's secret mission, but I could have just said no. I made a decision, not him, and I knew what it would mean for me. His highness is not to blame. So as far as I am, I can accept this. Don't disregard my brother's feelings so easily, Dean. He thought just as much about this as you did about deserting the army. Besides, if you won't accept this gift, gift willingly, then as Princess of Thracia, I'll just order you to accept it. <laughs> you know, technically, I'm not a knight of Thracia anymore, so you can't, actually couldn't order me to do anything. But you've made your point, Lady Eltena. Order or no, you know I could never refuse you. I'll wield the Dragon Pike for a time, but I'm only borrowing it, that's all. I'm glad you understand. Now use the Dragon Pike to protect Lenoa. Make sure nothing happens to her. Known him brother of Bethorod after all. Now we're using all 60 uses of this thing. This thing's amazing. He wanted to come here and defend Lenoa and himself, but couldn't risk leaving the kingdom on guard for too long. I suppose giving you the spear was his way of being here in spirit. 
I am supposed to be a stand-in for His Highness himself. Awfully big shoes he's asked me to fill. I think you've got the wrong idea, Lady Altena. No way am I the man for that kind of honor. I'll do my best, though. Now don't you worry another minute about Detris Lenoa. I'll guard her with my life. It's Dragon Pike. So yeah, Dean will die if we leave him there, so let's not do that. You know, now since apparently this staff has like two extra uses, the rescue staff, I can justify myself in using it. Get back here. It's not good. Okay, why don't you just go somewhere else? <laughs> I don't know where, just somewhere else. Under. Oh shoot, I've got to change that to Dire Thunder. I'm a fool. She's probably gonna die now if I didn't do that. I, she probably would have lived. You can visit this house. That's something you can do. My ma and pa were both killed. Tara's already lost, just like all the other cities that resisted the Empire. That's depressing. Uh, I believe you can just hang out over here. So half our army is like super duper dead. Or half dead. So let's do that fortify. See for the fine action. There we go. I guess we can send a deer over here too to help out against the knights. And Tina... What would even be a good thing to steal with the uh, thief staff, I wonder? I guess you can only use... Is, you... Is the thing with the thief staff, can you only steal things from enemies you have more magic than? Is that how it works? Okay, Fergus. Oh dear. I don't know if Fergus can take all those guys on himself. Well, my leader seems to be having no trouble taking on 12 million dudes. Some of these guys have rapiers too. Uh, Fergus, why? Stop killing everyone!
Oh, thank God. Oh, boy, I forgot they have Kanto. Oh, wait. Yep. I knew they would get her killed. goodness. Mmm. Whatever. We have like 12 billion warp staffs. You know, if we use one trying to save Olwen because I made a stupid mistake. This is what we gotta do. Whatever. We'll say we'll rescue her. Bring Nan all the way back. Homer can I don't know. This ballista man, it sucks. Let's see how this goes then. Focus is probably still gonna die though. Okay, this, this guy's going for leaf. Probably has a broken sword. <sighs> okay. Once more for the top. I think dashing would be better over here. Dashing can take these guys for days. Yeah, okay. Just we all requires might me rethinking the strategy. Fergus goes over here. I forgot we need to kill the boss again. Go away. Okay. Okay. So, what we do, old when we use Dire Thunder.
Okay, so we sent her there. Dean. Dean, 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 Dean. Let's see how this goes. Oh wait, I forgot. I forgot to move pan. Lista can't hit her though, because she's too too close to it. So there's something. Come on, Dashin. You can take all these guys. Well, maybe not the guys that have rapiers, actually. Hmm. And maybe not the guys who have magic. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh my god, he's not killing any of them. Dash and feel free to dodge any of these, you know? Okay. I think we're on the right track with this strategy, though. So we do this, dance dashing. Focus goes here. Oh, it can move again, that's nice. Kill the boss. Um, okay. Kill this guy then. goes here, equips the javelin. If I had a pure water, maybe. Something to consider. Leave almost layers this guy, Fergus. Wait, so what's this guy? Can he visit the house?
Die, your thunder. You know what? Okay, that's nice. Go the ballista then. See this goes. You can't kill any of them. You don't have that speed. Can you guys stop, please? Hi, the folks of the Liberation Army, Terry, sorry the volume, but I have a book they can give to Lady Lenoan. The father, late Duke, entrusted to me and gave me the strictest instructions to only deliver to her and she faced her darkest hour. Now it's for that, too. What is all of this? Kane, you can help out, right? Graph them. See, it'd be just so much easier if we just walled up inside, but where's the fun in that, right? healing. Oh, a couple people I didn't need it. Alright, fine, we'll use another fortify. It's 
house over there we haven't visited. Sounds like a job for Dean. Especially since the ballista's gone now. This is messy over on this side, because Dashin just cannot handle all these people. I mean, he can, but it's just, he can't kill them. He just can't keep up with the constant swarm of reinforcements. Okay, so <laughs> this side's just a mess, but we're slowly keeping up with the reinforcements on this side, so that's good. We could just have people we could just block them to the best of our ability, right? What's going to happen to us? If we're packed up and moved to a different city, how will we be able to live more normally? Not the thief staff. Physic. Who needs physicking? A lot of people. just heal them with Asbel, I think. Oh, wait. There we go. No need to use the last fortify, I suppose. Just turn five. We need to get to turn ten. Let's heal Leaf up for the last bit of HP he needs. Okay. Just keep doing what you're doing, Dashin. There you go. Hmm. 
Oh, finally that activates. For me. Okay, so we managed to cut down the reinforcements on this side, which is nice. This side is pretty much secured at this point, which is nice. What turn is it? It's turn six. Since nobody's coming out this way, we might as well send you to help out. I should just dance for Nana, huh? Just hold the line, everyone. Yep, lobster in the face and start showing up soon. Oh, wow. Blocking an entire ballista bolt. That's my man. De All right, dashing. Oh, these magic guys are nothing to Asbel. They cannot do anything to him.
We're gonna get that dragon pike right now. Get back here, Dean. Okay, this is going pretty well. Wasteland, huh? Why is that wasteland tile, honestly? I guess because it's where you they broke down the wall. I suppose that makes sense. All right. I was very curious, like, because that like really hampers um the movement of our cal cavalry and probably everyone else too, honestly. There are no more reinforcements on this side, and doesn't seem to be any more here either. Well, thankfully, our, um, wyverns don't care about that, so we can just have them dip in and out, so to speak. And hopefully not die in the process. Yeah, miss! Oh, but she gets to go again. Yeah, miss! <laughs> She's doing her best. Well, if no one else is coming, maybe we should back up, back it up a bit. He's gonna hit 20 soon. That's nice. Good for him. Dashin's gained like... Did the patch remove the green units and the sorcerers? I'm not sure, cause... It did lower the turn count, cause I think you normally have to be here for like, 14 turns or something? But now I see you only have to sit for 10. I feel like it was more than that in vanilla. Okay. Yeah, we're on. Oh wow, we're on turn eight, but uh, they haven't come. They haven't come yet. Pern just casually moving across the entire map as he does. Might seem that I really do like how it seems like you're finally clearing out the enemy and they're finally running out of units, and then bam, 12 million wavens and locked here. So, so and it's like, oh no, you haven't even begun to face the onslaught. Very nice. It's very funny. Let's check. The, let's try out this dragon pike. Fun! Gives vantage. 
Lock to Dean and Altena. Interesting. She pop. Maybe she has one when she shows up for like a few seconds in like a later chapter. Interesting how it can also be used by Altena. Yeah, I'm pretty sh I'm guessing it might be because of how- Really, Dean? Fine. Tina, you wanna hit- actually land the heal this time? No. Enemy turn eight. That guy's still there. There they are, I hear him. Oh boy. My unit and I have arrived, my lord father. Very good, Aryan. Now, you're all aware of my intentions, yes? Yes, we've led the Empire to believe that we're indeed an ally in the Siege of Tara. Now it's time for us to catch them on the wares and take the city for ourselves. That's right. Go, get to it. I should question his approach, however. <sighs> What's wrong? Is this truly our wisest option, Father? Taking Tara by force? When I come to their aid in the, this crisis, surely it would bolster our future relations. Ha! So what? You really think shackling ourselves to Tara will do the trick? Help take down the Empire? Have you already forgotten about our defeat at Mergen? We had all of North, North and South Thracia united under our rule then, and we were still no match for the Empire. We lost only because Wait Drek betrayed us. Perhaps, but the fact remains that the battle ended with us humiliated and having to res resort to suing for peace. North Thracia, the land I had gone through so much to finally have in my own, was taken from me just like that all those years for nothing. Weird text effect there, but I guess it didn't screw up things too badly. As it stands, it's no exaggeration to say that the Empire's might exceeds our own by tenfold. You still like those odds? You still think you can win? Thrac Tarhins, Thracians, Imperials, it'll be thousands of pointless casualties all around. You still want to go through with your plan? No, you've the right of it, my Lord Father. I was being too rash. Oh, there you too. Um, okay, good. They, they're just kind of slowly moving here. Here's Trevant. Oh my goodness. He's got, look at all that authority. Look at all that vigor. Vantage in the hill. He's got Gungnir. Put Trevant and Arya in the Holy Lance. Strength, speed, defense. Plus ten. And the full name. This guy's only got si seven speed. He's only got seven luck. What a terrible unit. Arian, Silver Sword, Master Lance. Hmm. It's interesting, Arian actually has. beats his father out in most stats. Three authority stars and one vigor. Charm, Adept, Nihil. Yeah, Trevant doesn't have charm. <laughs> Alright, everyone, let's. 
one for our lives. We can't attack them. McCloy. Chilling on the map. No biggie. <laughs> Tina, please. Tina, please. <laughs> Staff missing is a fun mechanic that we all love. Let's see what happens. Oh. I just wanted to get some extra experience for a deer, of course. Please kill him. Thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> they just show up here like, Hello, can we tell you about our lord and savior, Loptus? It's like, no, please no, go away. <laughs> Stop showing up at my doors. Burgo. Burgo, son. Who the heck is that? Or is that just a faction name? Come from Oh my god, they're everywhere. Only took it like seven tries, but she did it. Oh my goodness. So Mr. McCloy, how is this gonna work now? Well, I stand here. Maybe we should just surround him. dancer can move again. That's always nice. You literally just have warp stabs. Alright, heal Dean. Yeah, it doesn't work because he can fly. Well, there's a time and a place to maximize staff experience game.
Here, Kane, why don't you do something so I don't feel like it was a complete waste to bring you. There you go. What are the uh, like, units gonna do? I'll tell you what they're not gonna do, leave their dances out in range like that, like an idiot. So, uh, what now? What happens now? <laughs> All right, we did it. No, this isn't right. If things kept going the way they are, countless innocent civilians will perish. I must speak with Lenoan. Well, I'm glad one of he decided to capture him. Good work, McCloy. We have a prisoner now. Let's interrogate him. Lenoan, where are you? It's me. It's Arya. Lord Arya, what are you doing here? There's no time. You must listen to me. Tell your people to lay down their arms and surrender. Immediately. If you keep fighting like this, Tara will never recover from this battle. Its fate will be sealed. I don't know if they'll actually attack- if these green units will actually attack you, or maybe they will attack you, but they'll prioritize attacking red units? Inter it's interesting. Because I know in base Thracia they can't attack you. Which will de definitely probably caught most people off guard. If you keep fighting like this, Tara will never recover from this battle. Its fate will be sealed. Why? Why would they do such a thing? This isn't something I'd ever imagined hearing from you. Just what in blazes has happened? My Lord Father is planning to seize Tara for himself. He's prepared a massive army to take the city from the Empire once their forces are exhausted. No! It gets worse. Sorcerers of the Lopter Church are headed here even as we speak. And not- uh, yeah, they're already here, bro. <laughs> they've been here. Not just any sorcerers, they've sent the Burgosan. The feral roses of Loptus himself. When they arrive here, they'll slaughter every single man, child, woman, and child in Tari. It will be genocide. This... Burgosan, this was my greatest fear. Lenoan, you must trust me. Allow Thracia to occupy Tari. Uh, we can pl place the city's people under our protection, and I'll see to it they're treated well. The Empire won't be able to harm them. Being under Thracian rule also means the city won't be forced to participate in child hunts. And isn't that what you wanted all along? Of course, I won't allow anything to happen to you either. You have my word that I'll protect you just as vi vigilantly, Lenoan. What will become of Lord Leaf and the other knights? I'm afraid they'll have no choice but to flee the city. The Empire cannot allow the prince to escape, and Father fears him as a threat. I understand, Your Highness. I shall avail myself to your, of your kind offer and entrust the city of Tara to you. You've made a wise decision, Lenoan. 
but I won't be staying here myself. I shall accompany Lord Leaf. It pains me to abandon the civilians who've stood by me for so long during our rebellion, but I believe this would be best for everyone. Once the Empire lies destroyed at the hands of Lord Leaf and myself, I'll return home. When that day comes, Your Highness, do you promise to return Tara to my rule? You plan to overthrow the Empire? I'll agree to those terms. If you can truly defeat the Empire, I'll gladly return Tara to you. Is Prince Leaf worthy of such confidence, I wonder? Is the boy really up to such a monumental task as fighting the Empire? Will he grow to be a Thracian ally? Thracian's ally? Or its greatest nemesis? I hope that I'm able to meet him one of these days, together with Altena. Duchess of Norman, are you alright? Where are you? Oh! Well, I guess you're gonna meet him pretty soon, Arian. <laughs> ah, as I live and breathe. You, identify yourself! Very well, my name is Arian, son of His Majesty King Trevant. Yeah, this is definitely new. They did not meet in place. Yeah, I do not believe. What? How is it? You, you're... And who do I have the honor of addressing? I am Leaf, son of Quan. So you are. Well met, Prince Leaf. I beg your pardon? Well, I'd like to grant you some insight. I'm afraid time is currently of the essence. It's my understanding that you have a great many things left to accomplish. Should you remain here, doubtless you'll fall in battle soon, whether it be my, to my father or the regiments of Imperial soldiers and Lopterians. If you wish to avoid this fate, I suggest seeing what Duchess Lenoan has to say. What would you know about a Lenoan? Do you really wish to prioritize that? I've spoken only truth, Prince Leaf. Leave this place, if only so that one day the two of us might exchange words again. Hmm. There you go. 14x, yearning to breathe free. Now, let's just get to the save point here before the map. Following the Liberation Army's defeat in a desperate attempt to shield Tara, Leaf has no choice but to order a retreat through the valley north of the walled city. Once in that valley, however, he and those who followed were all but ripe for the picking. So that chapter took forever. <laughs> Like, wow. Normally I do two chapters during these, but yeah, th that chapter just took forever. Cameron did not even get a level during that. Oh my goodness. Um, I should, I can just... Oh, no conversation doing 14x. Well, that simplifies things. Yeah, the chapter was... A lot of interesting changes to that chapter. Aside from just a lot of the conversations, getting a new unit that wasn't in the actual... in the original game. Uh, that being... Gunner. Over here. And just being a lot more tense in general, with the reinforcements being a lot tougher. And reinforcements being adjusted in a way. Um, yeah, I did like that map. Uh, it didn't overstay its welcome because it's only ten turns. And um, I don't know about and this map. I'm curious to see what they change about this because this map kind of annoying. <laughs> it's just a straight line, but with a whole other Pegasus Knights. And, Long range of dark magic while you're protecting civilians. It's uh, a real thing, treat. But we'll just have to figure out the extent of any changes they've made next time because that will be the end of today's stream. Next stream will probably be Monday. Yeah, Monday. So, thank you all for coming, stopping by, and I'll see you all next time.